Good afternoon, everyone. Baruch Hashem, we had a beautiful Pesach. Chag, we soft, soft became a Jewish nation, Am Yisrael. We left together in Mitzrayim, slavery, journey to receive the Torah, slowly, slowly aiming for the land of Israel to become Am Kadosh. I want to touch upon today, in this week's parsha, the Indian of of being holy. We know this week's parsha Kedoshim starts when Hashem tells when Hashem as Moses, Moshe Rabbeinu, to tell Amis, uh, Bnei Israel that, that you are holy because I am holy. Kibalt, you are holy because I am holy. But it's not so easy because obviously we have some obligations, we have something we have to do to become holy. And uh, and Hashem tells us like you will be holy by not doing things to keep track of yourself. I will use the English translation of a Chumash I really like. It's the Gutnik edition. You will see like as a mirror. The Gutnik edition is a Chabad Chumash. Beautiful Torah, beautiful insights. And especially today, I think that the translation. It's really good for our purpose. And a few things that the Torah tells us what not to do. is, for example, you should not steal money. You should not swear falsely. You should not rob. You should not curse a dead person. You should not place a stumbling block before a person who is blind. You should not commit a perversion of justice. And you should not go around as a gossiper among your people. So this is a few examples from the Torah, this week's parasha. It's in, uh, I believe it's in the Aliyah Sheni, it starts with the word in Hebrew, Lo tasu avel b'mishpad lo tisa p'nei dal v'lo tada p'nei gadol b'tzede tishpot amitecha. Meaning, to be holy, you're, you have to be able to not to do things. Remember, it's much easier to do things to feel holy, to be holy. You're praying, you feel connection to Hashem, feeling holy, you're learning Torah, you're feeling holy, you're doing mitzvahs, you're feeling holy. The kirva to Hashem in the easy way. But to not do things is much harder. To hold yourself back from doing things is hard. Because that's usually our Yetzer Hara. Yetzer To not do things. If we're taking the example, you should not steal. What is to steal something? It's not only you're stealing from someone else, but you're stealing from Hashem. Because we know everything belongs to Hashem. But stealing is not, act- it's not only to take like money, finding a purse, or like finding 100 shekels uh, on the road. 
is that's stealing, but it's not. But you have more examples in business, business ethics. You feel, wow, I can make a big fortune by not being honest. That's also stealing. But the Yates Sahara tells you, I want the, the Rebach, I want the, the money, I want, I want it. And that's why Shem says you, you should not steal. Because if you're stealing, you're getting further away from me. Because you let your Yetzara decide and not to do the right thing. The Kedusha I gave you is less pure. Because you decided to do something that you know is wrong. And that's with many things in life to not do something. To not get angry. To not drive too fast. Dina Mahuta Dina. It's so easy, like people thinking like I can make some more money by not doing exactly the right thing. Where I can gain respect in my community by speaking Lashonara about someone else. But the Torah tells you you should not do it because if you're doing it, you're losing your holiness. The pureness of your holiness. But it's so easy to do the wrong thing. That's why the Torah tells you you should not do it. Hashem tells you, I know it's hard, it's so hard. But by overcoming the challenge, you will become holy. Because I'm holy. And I decide the purity of your holiness. So even if you're so machmir to daven in a minion, and you're doing it studying Torah, and you're doing mitzvahs, whatever, but if you decide to not do, to do what you should not do, it doesn't count. The hard thing in life is to overcome the evil things. That's what, that's what Hashem wants from us. You manage to not do it, you will feel so much better. You will feel like closer to me because you overcame it. But the daven is not hard. To give tzedak is not hard. But it's hard to give in on a business deal, even if you know it's not really a kosher one. And it's so hard to give in for personal interest but not speaking bad about someone else if you can gain from it but that's why Shem says you should not do it because that makes distance between you and me I know it's very very hard and we all have the challenges no one is perfect Ain't shlemut b'olam hazeh, except all you himself. Hashem is shlemus. That's also why I think, as I spoke about before, we have to focus more on the mitzvah ben adam lechaveru because that's as many times you should not. We have to do something. I have to give tzedakah. Chesed, you have to do something. To daven is pashut. Now Mincha takes you five minutes. But to give tzedakah, you have to open your purse and you have to give money. And you should not speak bad, even if you can gain. You should not steal because they said, even if you can gain, because it's not gaining. Because if you're stealing with someone, some other person, 
You're sinning from God because everything belongs to God. So to be holy and keep your holiness have many different directions. Today we have the direction of to not do things to be holy, to keep yourself holy. And Besrat Hashem, my goal is to one day be able to write down a book about to be holy, the holiness of Adam, the holiness of Am Israel. We, as as Yehudim, as a nation, so please keep holy and keep yourself holy by doing the right thing, and don't let the Yetzirah overcome. Please overcome the Yetzirah to keep pure holiness. I wish you all a good week.